Inductive reactance is the opposition to electric current due to the phenomenon of self-induction in alternating current circuits. This delays the current with respect to voltage and causes its magnitude to decrease. The inductive reactance increases considerably if the circuit has a coil. Since in our case, the circuit doesn't have one, we can neglect the inductive reactance. Because of this, we can see the voltage, represented by the positive and negative symbols, and the electric current, represented by the yellow arrow, are both synchronized. By adding a coil to the circuit, the magnetic field intensifies, and now the inductive reactance takes effect. See now how the electric current, represented in blue, has changed. Now it's delayed with respect to voltage. Besides, its magnitude has decreased. But why is this happening? Let's remove the current for now and take a look at two different electric currents. The yellow one is the current we had before the coil. The grey one is the one the coil induces to the circuit. This induced current is due to the change in the magnetic flux. When the magnetic flux is maximum, it's not changing at all, so no induced current. When the magnetic flux is zero, its rate of change is maximum, so the induced current reaches its maximum value. You can also see that the induced current is not synchronized with the voltage. Also, note that this current opposes the yellow one during most of the time. So, if we now sum the current before we had the coil in yellow, which is synced with the voltage, and the induced current in grey, which is not in sync, we obtain the blue one, which is the real current flowing through the circuit. This current is out of sync with the voltage and its magnitude has decreased. This effect is proportional to the rate at which the electric current changes. So in circuit analysis, an important factor is the frequency of the circuit, as this tells us how fast the electric current is changing with time. The proportionality constant is called inductance, denoted with an L, and depends mostly on the geometry of the coil, the amount of turns, and the materials used. The big difference between inductive reactance and electrical resistance is that the reactance generates the current to lag, and this decreases the total power delivered by the source, since the peaks of electric current and voltage are not in sync. Remember to subscribe and hit the like button if you want more videos like this.